Teddy was 13 when his father first took him hunting. All through the summer of that year, Eddie tramped alone and unarmed the field and forest around their farm. Here, Eddie, you can use my shotgun now. Thanks, Father. I can hunt pigeons this year. Look, Father, there are three pigeons in the tree. Wait for the birds to rise and then fire. Yes, I hit it, Father. Good shot, Eddie. Suddenly, a small dog yelping shrilly came tearing across the broading plain of grass and small trees. And the dog see the three dead pigeons that Eddie shot and killed. Come on, let's pick up the bird. Come here, Father. The dog found the bird for me. Good dog. Can you hold the bird, Father? Go away, Eddie. Uh, good dog, you're so cute. May I keep him, father? Well, I'm not sure. That dog belongs to somebody. I shall return him when the uh, owner comes to claim him. Uh, okay. Birok and Eddie became fast friends. Every afternoon after school, they would went to chase quails or to the bank of the river, which was fenced by tall, blade sharp reeds to flush knives. Birok scrumped off and Eddie's sister flung a stick at him. Then she turned about Eddie, and she saw come Eddie. Here. Why, sister? That Ouch. dog destroyed my slippers again. I don't want to see that dog in the house again. I'll tell Berta to kill that dog if I see it around here again. Eddie's sister was the meanest creature that he knew. She was eight when Eddie was born, the day that their mother died. A doll was cradled in the box. It was his sister's playhouse, and he remembered that she told him to keep out of it. Eddie picked up the doll. It was slight, but it had hard, unflexing limbs. He tried to bend one of the legs. This is my dog! Why did you break it? Sorry sister, I'm just flexing the dog. Please, I have no to break I have no intention to break it. Eddie ran after Where Birk. are you? Where he had are fled you? to the brambles. He ran after him, boggling his name. Then he saw that one of his eyes was bleeding. Biryuk, what happened to your eyes? Your eyes have been pierced by a stick. Oh, I know it. My sister do that to you. Eddie saw Berto in a shade of a tree, splitting woods. When Berto saw Eddie, he stopped and called him, and said to Eddie, I got something for you, okay? I know you know this. It's a large centipede and it's red. I found it under the tree. I'm gonna shop with the stick it. I could carry it dead. I did not kill him because I knew you would like it. Yes, you're right. The centipede did not move. Eddie Why wrapped it in a handkerchief. Eddie's sister was enthroned in a large chair in the porch of the house. Her back was turned away from the door. Eddie went near her and stood behind her chair. She was not aware of Eddie's presence. Eddie unwrapped the centipede and threw it on her lap. <laughs> you tried to kill me. What are you doing this to me? No, <laughs> wake up, sister. Wake up. Wake up.